today is the 18th of December. It's almost noon and I think it's around 55 degrees or so. Um, I think all this week we're going to get into the high 20s, low 30s at night and during the day mid to high 50s or so. So uh, and it's pretty consistent. We had rain. I'm trying to think of what day it was. Tuesday, maybe? Um, yeah, I think it was Tuesday. We had some rain. And so it helped push some of the leaves down to the ground, especially from the leaves in, on the side yard here. And, um because of all the cold at night because we've had frosty we've seen frosty areas or whatever so because of the cold we've lost our garden but that's okay i'm ready for um the summer garden coming up so planning is key we had lots of leaves come down which That's okay. And we filled this with rain that came off of our roof right there. So, because we don't have gutters the entire way around our house. So we set this up strategically and it pretty much filled it. Um, I think this plant here likes it right now. In fact, I think it's getting some pretty green leaves on it. Uh, do I see any? I do not see any blossoms yet this one did but it's taken a hit just because of the cold that one's not doing well because of the cold the mums have died back basically So, because of the cold, though, I'm going to be able to get rid of my basil finally, because you don't see any bees in the basil that I can tell. I think the bees have said, it's too cold. That's a coleus that took a hit from the cold. So I think this week what I'll probably be trying to do is perhaps um, cleaning stuff out, getting rid of all the plants that can't handle the cold. Look at all the berries on the lantana. Yeah, even the bougainvillea says, this is cold, guys. Even got rain in this thing. I'm all right with that collected rainwater and didn't even mean to. The leaves are pretty much off of these two trees. Oh, that those little guys took a hit too. But you can see it's still in that tree.
I'm gonna cut back my goji berries. You can see everything in the gardens kind of gone. Um, Black Eyed Susan does not like the cold. We have this come on, I think, just for a minute. Um, the cypress vine. We took all of these peppers out. This was the area where I had a cover cloth and it just kind of fell apart. So I took it off and <clears throat> we harvested the peppers. There's my cypress vine. I'm definitely growing a cypress vine again. We only cut these back a little bit and I might try putting these peppers in pots. We shall see. Because it doesn't get cold enough to kill off the roots here. Got a little hummingbird in the garden. My basil, it smells good over here. Scared off the birds, yay. So, tomatoes, no thank you. Do you see anything? I don't see any bees out here. So, I would say in the next week or so, this is all going to get cleaned out. Good-looking strawberries, plants, even the artichokes don't look bad. I think they're kind of protected over there. This thing filled with water. Got a little hummingbird following me green that's my garden diary today is December 15th and we got all of our peppers out of the garden um, the four by eight bed that had all of the peppers that was just mainly pepper plants, the um, cover cloth um, kind of fell apart in the wind, ripped the seam. And so we just decided to take them all down. Um, so I got, all of these are Serrano's, pretty much. Then there's some Santa Fe Grandes that are the yellow and red back there. There's some Jalapenos, Cubanels, Anaheims, and these could be Fresno. I don't know what these pointy ones are. They're big, but I don't know what they are. But yeah, there's a, a good mess of peppers here.